everyone. Uh, welcome to the web series of AWS for Developers. Uh, in this web series, we will be covering uh, content about AWS that can help developers to build their skills. So, uh, in the previous video, we discussed how we can configure the EKS. Uh, in this video, we will be covering uh, how you can host your website, a static website using S3 bucket. Uh, so why we, why would we need that actually? So the reason for using uh, AWS S3 as a store, static website storage, uh, in the legacy environment, you need to, if you wish to host a website, a static website, what do you need to do? You need to set up a server uh, with some sort of Linux, I mean, Microsoft, whatever the operating system, and then you need to install a web server like IIS, uh, Apache, Nginx, and then you need to uh, post your static content over there. So, but the problem with that solution is you need to maintain, the maintainability is the main factor that actually increase uh, the hectic of for server administrator. They need to worry about uh, the high availability, security, patching, and lots of things. So Amazon S3 offers a way you can host your static website uh, in their S3 bucket. So you don't need to worry about the uh, high availability and uh, data uh, availability, uh, data retention, lots of things that normally server administrators do. So uh, let's begin how we can configure the S3 bucket. Uh, for this, uh, there are several uh, important things we need to focus on. So the first thing is the Amazon S3 bucket name. So if you wish to create your uh, host, your website with some domain name like www.yourwebsite.com, so your bucket should reflect the same name. So if you did not, so you won't be able to surf with the custom domain name. So in order to use the custom domain name, uh, choose the S3 bucket name that reflects. Okay, so we'll begin. Uh, we'll be using uh, this particular domain name that actually sample.cmcloudlab1767.info. Uh, that domain is actually hosted on Route 53. Uh, in, in our same AWS account. So if I navigate, so in the hosted zone, so you could see this is the uh, domain that actually uh, hosting hosted in AWS Top 53. So uh, this is the most key point. Uh, when, uh, actually the word website is sample uh, and this is our domain name. So at this, uh, you can choose your region. Uh, this totally based on your user base if you uh, you can choose the user uh, region where user base reside there are a lot of uh, regions available for hosting s3 bucket as a website so we are not configuring any acl uh, so uh, this is another important part uh, we need to uncheck this because uh, this will uh, allow our user to publicly read our content so they will they won't be able to uh, change any content because we are we, we are not uh, marking anything so uh, just uh, unchecking block all access and we are acknowledging uh, uh, you can enable the bucket versioning uh, this is not actually concerned with our current uh, video setup so we are just clicking on the create bucket so this is one thing which is done the next thing is we need to enable uh, the s3 bucket static website for this uh, we need to go to our s3 bucket then go to the properties and scroll down till the bottom till you see the this option static website hosting click on the edit button and click on the enable so here you can specify several options uh, you can redirect object request uh, or you can host so we are we are hosting our website so we'll be choosing first option and then we can specify our index document uh, in our case, we'll be using index.html. So you can, if you if you are choosing uh, uh, to reroute or redirect option rules, you can define over here. But at the moment, we are leaving it as a blank. So click on the save button. So this is one part is done. Now the next thing is uh, to secure your bucket. So we need to define our uh, bucket policy. 
So click on the bucket policy. Uh, I already have uh, one bucket policy, uh, which is also available on AWS as well, AWS platform as well. So you could use uh, that uh, bucket policy. So I'm using the existing one. So what I need to do is just need to change this particular name with this uh, with the name that my domain is going to have. So my going my domain name is sample dot. Uh, this is my domain name. Uh, sample dot cm cloud, whatever. So this is done. We need to click on the save button. So yeah, we are done with our setup. The last part we need to upload the documents or the files or static content. At the moment, we have only one file, uh, which is index.html. If you have more, you can upload uh, through using S3 CLI or whatever. So you can choose your favorite tool to upload. Uh, you can use S3 Explorer as well. So yeah, this is one thing. So how we can get the URL? So to get the website uh, S3 bucket URL, click on the properties, uh, go to the bottom, and this is the link. If you click on the link, so you will see uh, this is the page that we uploaded. So uh, we talked about that uh, we, we need to uh, point it to our website. So what we will be doing, we will be creating a DNS pointer, a uh, CNAME pointer that actually redirects your request uh, to our S3 bucket. So what we are doing, we are calling sample uh, and asking uh, route 52 to route all the requests to our S3 bucket. This is our uh, website endpoint, which we got from here. So uh, we need to change the TTL, which is 60 seconds, one minute, and we are done. Uh, sample that it's already exist. So we can call it as sample two. So let's do that. So yeah, it's done. But the problem is uh, we need to delete the sample and sample two, and then we need to recreate actually, because if we did not, so we won't be able to route our traffic properly to our S3 bucket. So yes, this is the main problem. We need to be very careful about this. Yes. This time it's created. So click on the view status. So it's in pending. Once it's synced, yeah, our website is up and running. Uh, we can use default SSL certificate, which comes with. Uh, so default certificate is not enabled yet. So don't worry, we will uh, have another way to enable it. So we will cover that section in the next video. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like, really like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for watching this video.